what can we learn from Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach's Solfeggetto and how can we transpose the main subject, the main element into many different patterns. Let's discover it with me in this video. Welcome to this new video, I'm Ricardo the Musicus Practicus and today I want to show you a very beautiful trick of musical magic. Here I have the beginning of the very famous Solfeggetto by Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach. So, very, this is very common, the very famous, I mean. How can we set this into a fonte, into a monte, into a monte romanesca, into a quillfold and several patterns, this is the topic and the challenge of this video. So, first of all, we have to analyze what's happening. Here we have, we could say in modern terms to make it more clear for people who arrive from a modern uh, way of uh, analyzing harmony, tonic, then dominant, tonic, and dominant. This. If you want to see a schema, in terms of Gunn schema, in my opinion, the most clear one, tell me if you agree about that, can be the, do, re, the Re Mi Fa, so the minor version of the Do Re Mi. Do Re Mi in minor. Re Mi Fa. Re Mi Fa. Or otherwise. This, this one. Re, Do, Fa, Sol, Fa. Re, Do, Sol, Fa. The mayor. But in any case, they, this is more like an archetypical open that then opens the way to the mayor and the Do, Re, Mi in a later, st in a, this style. You know, sometimes we don't have to, many times we don't have to, we don't have to force a schema, of course, but it can be useful for the keyboard to see the notes we want. Fa, mi, sol, fa, this, if you like. So let's use two different colors. Fa, mi, sol, no. Sol, Fa, so in green we have Re, 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 Mi, Fa and then in blue Re, Do, Sol, Fa this way, Re, Do, Sol, Fa the green one is the Do, Re, Mi you can learn in the Partimento method uh, six stage 6.6 .6. and the blue one is the mayor you can learn in the partimento method stage 6.8 let's see what I'm talking about so this is where is the partimento method here right the partimento method stage 6 is about gallon schemata you can join for free the partimento method at you can see all the curriculum and chapter one and two and some stages from all the chapters are totally free. If you like, then you can continue with the co complete path. Now, I'm talking about 6.6, do, re, mi. Making music alone can be boring. Doing together with other friends can be a lot of fun. Many musician friends from all over the world are waiting to meet you on our server Discord. A totally free community where you can share your works, exchange your thoughts, learn and help other musicians like yourself. We can't wait to meet you too! Join our Discord server now! Click on this link, verify your account and say hello to your new friends! Okay, there we go. Here there are all the video explanations, same play exercises, partimentini, which are very uh, beautiful, partime short partimenti based on each pattern. Then let's take the prototypes, so the video explanation, the PDF, and so we are, I'm talking about the version, the minor version of the Do Re Mi, so the Re Mi Fa. Re Mi Fa. You can think the Re Mi Fa if you like. 
If you like. Here in A minor, of course, in the other point uh, in the piece we are in C minor. Re, 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 mi, fa, re, mi, fa, si, re, mi, fa, mi, re. Or otherwise, the other possibility is the major, so which is stage. 6.8 let's take the let's take the prototype of the major yes the minor version which is re re do sol fa re do sol fa re re do sol fa or or better re do And then in C minor, this way. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And that's very important because, for example, in the same play exercises you have in the Partimento method, so here, where you can see the major in, through all the minor, major and minor key, you want to apply the figuration of Carfieri minor back over major and D minor. That's simple. Re, re, do, sol, fa. Re, do, sol, fa. You have your structure here. Or you want to apply it in... Uh, C sharp minor, let's do this challenge now. Re do sol re do sol fa re do sol fa. Of course, you have to complete the with the structure first of all. Then re re do sol fa re. Yes, I'm very high free and, and this is out of tune, so very dangerous on the harpsichord now. Now, based on this, we have these two patterns. But how can we set the same figure over another pattern? This is the challenge, the challenge of this video of today. For example, uh, 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 what can we do? Where is here? Perfect, very good. For example, I want now the queen fold. I have two types of the quintuple, which is very similar to the printer in this case, especially for the second type, but also for the first one, printer and modulating printer. Let's see first of all how it sounds, and then let's compare it with the quintuple. First of all. Yes, let me get rid here, perfect. <laughs> This is an example of quintfo from C minor to C minor. Here another example of quintfo. This time moving to G minor, so a modulating quintfo. And that's why I'm saying that this is very similar to the printer because the printer features a bass sol fa mi uh, fa sol fa fa mi re sol fa mi la re sol fa mi la re let's see 
the printer first of all. Printer is the part of the of stage 6.5. And there's a, a special printer called expanded printer. I personally call it this way. Expanded printer, expanded printer, where the bass features the queen fold pattern. So we are combining ingredients. And in C minor, this is from degree one, or better, from degree four. this way so what's happening in colors help you visualize better colors help you imagine better colors help you understand better the same goes for the partimento method all the colors will help you to visualize the melodies better all the colors will help you to imagine the many combinations of patterns all the colors will help you understand counterpoint better free your creativity liberate your voice Make magic with your music. Create your free account now and start your magical adventure in the Partimento Method. No? What's happening here? You can clearly see... Sol... Yes, the first... The first chord then... Sol, Fa, Mi, Re. The bass. It sounds good. And let's say, let's set this queen fall after the opening gamut. So let's play this one and then the queen, the key, the queen fall uh, as our printer. Yes. So. works. Another possibility is here as you can see the modulating printer. In this point we have the modulating printer, modulating printer and the modulating printer is start instead of starting from degree 4, it's starting from degree 1 arriving to degree 5. Let's see how it works here in the expanded version, modulating expanded printer. So in A minor we have degree one. Sol fa mi re because we're going toward E minor. Sol fa mi re. Sol fa And let's come back to this point. Tac. Here, as you can see, in C minor, it is. configuration you can choose if you want the modulating printer or the normal printer just using or not using the a natural or flat here we have a natural and here a flat if you use the a natural you will go to G minor otherwise you'll stay in C minor 
So now let's play the beginning here and then let's apply the modulating printer. Yeah, the beginning first of all. As you can see, we are now in G minor, and that's very beautiful. So, another possibility can be a complete queen fold, a very wide queen queen fold. Like this, here we have. last we have to change and then I'll explain you why. So here we have for each section what we can call tonic dominant tonic and this sounds this way. Let's see how it sounds. Yes, this is very interesting because let's see how the queen for the structure will pass through what we can call the circle of the fifth, even it's not the circle of the fifth in the theoretical aspect, which is stage 3.4. Let's download our yes PDF explanation here, there, there it is. 3-5, yes, this is the major version. And the minor version will be... A-flat. Remember that in the Partimental method there are exercises through all the keys. For example, let's go to say and play exercises. Here you can write your queenfold in C minor. You have the A minor prototype and then just apply diminutions and write the complete sequence. <laughs> On this sequence now we can set no we can <laughs> set this but instead of this directly we go through this then C minor and in this case we can't do this because it's a diminished chord over degree 2 it's better to directly move to C minor so we have C tonic dominant tonic talking in modern terms or S tonic dominant tonic then B flat tonic dominant tonic then E flat tonic dominant tonic then A flat tonic dominant tonic tonic no and then diminished the last time is mi la re and if we set all of this in um, 
one complete sequence we get. This D flat helps us to arrive to F minor. This diminished seventh is something you can learn if you want in the Partimento Metus stage 8.10. 8.10 is entirely dedicated to the diminished seventh chord, 8.10. There are exercises, explanation, and all the things you need. Okay, there we go. And, 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 and using the diminished seventh as the appoggiatura for your dominant chord is very interesting and useful. It's a very good technique. Let me see where is the structure, where is it? Here, right. S diminished seventh, becoming our six five. Fa, mi, mi, fa, mi, mi. The same thing happens in F minor with D flat. Fa, mi, mi, fa, mi, mi. And here. Fa, mi, Come back to this, and as you can see, tuck. The same thing happens here with this case a major chord because we are we are not in a minor key but if you like you could also use the diminished seventh chord in order to go to a major key this way so but let's follow now the irregular way to move to to E flat major so the very last point of each sequence should be in the dominant taste of the key where we are going to so here C major chord here F major to go to B flat major here B flat major with a seventh to go to E major, and here, in order to go to A flat major, E flat major with a seventh this way. So let's let's continue from this point. Uh, e flat. come back to our C minor and the reason is very simple if we do this alternation diminish sounds very strange in my opinion let me know what you think about that let's play it uh, with uh, this alternation uh, no I didn't play yes again sounds strange in my opinion sounds very weird because we want to D flat if you listen to it Then we will continue to add a flat and a flat. We want to stop there, so diminish fast fifth degree and first degree this way. And 
then we come back, for example, we can uh, come back to our subject in C minor. So let's play the queen fall and at the end let's apply our subject. <laughs> Perfect, and then let's play from the beginning subject plus quinfold plus subject. Then in the next video, because this is too much long, almost half an hour, let's continue with the Monte Romanesca. I remember you that you can download this PDF with this analysis, this structure on uh, Patreon. Mm, check my Patreon page and the link here in the description. Then there is a free ebook you can download with all, all, all this pattern set in order so you can see the prototypes and if you want to start learning Partimento, join the Partimento method. You can join for free. Chapter 1 and 2 are totally free so you can start right now only an email address you need and if you like it continue with a full beautiful journey. And God said let there be light and there was light. In many religious traditions God gave man the power to name. Name things Name animals, name your peers. With words you can destroy and you can create. With words you can hurt and you can comfort. With words you can manipulate reality or describe it as best you can. One of the most powerful exercises you can do to compose your own music is to say what you play. You can say the intervals you play. You can say the letters you play. You can say the summation syllables you play. This is exactly what you will do in the say and play exercises in the Partimento method. With the powerful say and play exercises, playing various patterns such as Romanesca, Tide Bass, Windfall, will be like recalling magical powerful spells. You think of the pattern, you say it, and the magic is done. Let there be 3rd and 6th, and there was 3rd and 6th.